Well, hello and welcome everyone. Good morning to you all. So this is not going to be the most pleasant video I've put on YouTube before, but it's one of those videos that we've just got to do it. We just can't leave it alone and hope that it's going to clean itself. So yes, you've guessed it. <laughs> I'm looking inside my toilet and you're looking up from underneath. So yes, we're going to basically show you how we clean our Thetford toilet cassette. So before we get into the video, I first need to drop off the kids. Hey! Hi, so um, I've got the delightful job of cleaning the toilet. It's been used for about six months, um, not recently because we've been uh, bunkered down for a little while because of the virus, the virus. Um, so yeah, we thought we'll be back on the road soon, it's time to clean the toilet. Um, so I know you can buy cleaners out there that are specifically designed for this, um, but I just wanted to give it a try with things that you might have either in the caravan or in the home. Um, soapy water, white vinegar, eucalyptus oil, um, bicarb soda. They're all the things that um, when we were back at home, I used to use to clean the dishwasher. Um, so I didn't buy any fancy cleaning products, I just used those. So I thought I'd give them a whirl in our toilet. Um, so yeah, it's pretty grotty inside, even though it's obviously been emptied back when we last used it. Um, but I'm gonna start off with some soapy water. So I've got a container here, it holds about 10 litres. I'm going to go and fill that up with soapy water and then tip that into the toilet cassette. First things first, pink rubber gloves. So I'll get these on. And let's go and get our soapy water. So I want to get the water as hot as I can. A bit like soaking a dirty pot or a dirty pan, really. Look at my sunglasses on indoors. Okay. So I'm going to actually put the soap in here. Instead of putting it in the cassette itself, that way I can um, just give it a good mix around and get lots of bubbles. Such a delightful job. I really should have protested more. But who uses it more? Not me. Excuse me? <laughs> How many families have we met on the road and the males don't use the toilet? Don't even empty the toilet. No, I empty it. Because they never use it. But yet, me, poor me, gets roped into it. You use it. Don't believe a word he says. Maybe for number ones, but not for number twos. Focus on the water. <laughs> okay, I've got about eight litres there, so I reckon that'll do. I want to be able to carry it. Okay, so I've got my soapy water. I have to put it in this thing. Mm. It's all looking a bit bit grim around the top. Now the one thing you mustn't forget to do, I'm sure there's no gas in here, but just in case, always press that button, let it out. I've been spat in the face more times than I care to remember. Okay, all right, let's see if I can get this in. So nice and hot and soapy. Should just make a start on the cleaning process, hopefully. On. I'm just going to give it a good shake down into there as well because that's where 
all the business comes out when you empty emptying it into the dump point. Okay, so I don't think much gas will build up, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna again, oh there you go. Press that to release as much as you can and then just open it ever so slightly. I'm just gonna leave it and sit like that because it'll still give it a good soaking. I reckon a couple of hours. Again, I'm just, this is a bit of an experiment really, but I reckon a couple of hours, just loosen up anything that's a bit dried on. That sounds gross. And then I'm gonna empty it and the next step will be probably the white vinegar, baking soda and eucalyptus. And that should give it a good thorough cleanse. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours with the soapy water. We've just emptied it out and then we've just given it a quick flush with um, just some fresh water to get rid of most of the bubbles. Um, I think what I might do next, you can actually remove this whole section. You see where this round area is? You can actually remove that whole section. So I'm gonna take that out and put it in some more hot soapy water, just because gravity means that that wouldn't have potentially has had a deeper clean as the bottom. Um, um, it's a bit tricky to do. <laughs> Damien reckons I won't be able to do it myself. So I'm going to get him to show you how you um, unscrew the top. First of all, you can take that off. I think that's what you do, isn't it? No. Would you leave that on? Okay, we'll leave that on. All right, so the tables have turned and I've now got the pink gloves <laughs> off. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is basically take out the sliding lid and put it in the opposite end. And as you can see on there, there's an arrow and an arrow there. So what you want to try and do, it's quite tricky, you need to pull on one end, well basically pull from one end and pull from the other and twist it as you do it so it goes anti-clockwise. You don't want to get this out too far though because if you pull it out too far you're going to break this sleeve. So don't get it out too far and then just turn like so and it should just lift straight out like so. Okay, so now that's off, you can see it looks pretty grotty. I won't hold it up that way for too long. I'm just literally gonna slide that off that way. And I'm gonna submerge this whole thing into hot soapy water. And I'm just gonna leave it there to soak for a while. Probably float up to the surface, but I just want that underneath to have a really good soaking. Um, meanwhile, you can see in there a short, let me assure you, it looked a lot worse before. It started to loosen up some of the insides and some of that will be calcium deposits as well. Um, but it's really started to loosen up. And then hopefully the next step, which is the white vinegar, eucalyptus oil, baking soda, will really fizz up in there and hopefully loose off a lot of those. Um, but it would just basically be so much cleaner than it was. Um, I said basically then as well. If anyone's watched Damien's other videos, he loves the word basically. Um, but yeah, so the next step will hopefully loosen off some of that um, dirt in there. I'm not going to do that though until I've got the lid back on because we want it again to, so we can give it a really good shake around. So I'm just going to leave that for about an hour just to give that a really good soaking. Soaking in hot soapy water, probably for a bit longer than I'd have normally left it, but um, I've been on the phone. So um, <laughs> yeah, so you can see it's still looking pretty awful, but it's actually starting to loosen up and I think a lot of that is just um just just build up so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a bit of a scrub I've got a chucks cloth here I've also made a bit of a paste up just with some warm water and bicarb soda I did actually put a drop of eucalyptus in there as well um, and I've just got one of these cheap little silicon brushes like a bottle brush um, that I'm just going to use to get in all the little nooks and crannies. Just give it a good scrub and I'm going to do a bit on the inside of the main toilet cassette as well. Okay, so I'm just giving that a scrub and as you can see it's never going to look brand new but it looks so much better. Clean all the um, build up from around all the little bits and pieces. Obviously that popped out so that just sits in like that. And now I'm just going to um, give this baby a little bit of a scrub. I'm not going to go like wild. Um, again, we're not going to eat our dinner off it, but we just want to make sure it's a bit cleaner. So I'm just going to pop that back in the water for now and then get started on this. 
So I just want to mainly concentrate. Um, there's like a little, um, it's the sensor that tells you when your cassette's full. So I just want to make sure that that has a really good clean, obviously without damaging anything. But yeah, so I'm just going to get in there with the cloth and with the brush. I love seeing a woman at work. giving it a really good scrub or as much as I can. I'm not going to go wild. I just want to loosen some stuff off. It looks so much better in there. The main thing is I've got lots of stuff that was jammed around the sensor here. And it's surprising how easy just with um, soap and water and a little bit of bicarb, how much it's loosened off. And um, the other thing I'm going to do, because all your business gets emptied out of here, I'm just going to give that a bit of a wash in there. And I'm going to get the brush down the pipe as well. You don't have to go to these extremes if you don't want to. To be honest, I think the white vinegar, the bicarb and the eucalyptus, when I do that, I think that will do a really good job on its own. I'd be pretty happy with that. But as we're here, we've got a bit of time. We thought we'd um, try and do as proper job as we can. Alrighty, so this white piece just fell off. Yep, just basically straight over and on like so. Even has like a round pointy part there and that sits on the noble sticking up like that. And you'll hear it click into place just like that. Okay so after the soap and water and a quick scrub I'm gonna do the next step which is some hot water, white vinegar, bicarb and a little bit of eucalyptus just because I like the smell and it um, does a good job at cleaning. So um, I'm going to use two parts of water to one part white vinegar. I've got four litres of hot water, just shy of two litres of white vinegar. I'm actually just going to pour it in here and give it a squish. White vinegar is really good for cleaning. Give that a quick swirl. And then I'm going to pour that straight into here. I've done it while the lid's still off, just so you can see it fizzing because it should have a Pour in the water and the white vinegar in. So that's gone. And I'm going to put in next, take these gloves off. I'm going to put in some eucalyptus oil. I'm going to be quite generous. There you go. You actually only normally need a few drops, but I want to give it a really nice clean and then I'm actually going to put in this whole box um, this is a 500 gram box I just use a little bit out of the top so as I tip it in you can see straight away it starts to wildly fizz and that will give it a really nice deep clean okay so that's all gone as well um, and we're just going to get the lid back on give it a really good shake and then vent it again because it will create a tremendous amount of gas if we just leave it um, and we'll leave that overnight. So you're not going to be able to see too much um, because of the light, sorry about that, but you can see there's basically two rings, one's open and one's closed. So basically you put the arrow on the open bit because we've opened it then we we'll slide the lid back in to the arrows and then basically just turn it clockwise this time. Let me just try and until it can't go anymore. Basically, the arrow should line up with the closed part of the circle. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a really good shake. It has to be pretty quick though, because I've just got to quickly release the gas afterwards. So I'm just going to. It will probably start to fizz again. I'm actually just going to let gas out. Let some more gas out. And then I'm gonna get it right down into that nozzle as well. And let some more out. So what I'm gonna do, I think that should do it. I'm just gonna leave it slightly vented so it doesn't expand and we won't be able to get the um probably break it actually. So just leave that slightly vented and I'm just gonna leave it overnight to do its thing. 
We'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, we left it overnight. Um, gave it another really good shake this morning. Emptied it out. Rinsed it with fresh water. And we are so happy with it. We've also given the um, sorry. We've also given the outside a wash down with soapy water. That doesn't hurt either. The wheels and underneath can get quite grotty, so we're giving that a good wash. Um, and as you can see, it's not perfect but it's so much better than what it was. Smells really clean, not that you wanna get your nose in there, but smells a lot cleaner. Um, I just feel really happy that now we're setting off again with a fresh toilet cassette. The, um, the scent is really nice and clean. Um, so yeah, I definitely use that method again. Um, it's very, very easy. I think you'll probably, will you put the steps up on the screen for everybody? So all we did was um, fill it with hot soapy water, give it a really good swish around, um, leave that for a couple of hours, empty that out, put in a solution um, of ooh, two parts of hot water to one part white vinegar, um, a whole box of baking soda, and um, a few drops of eucalyptus oil. Left that overnight, gave it a really good shake again this morning, emptied it out, rinsed it out, Gave all the outside a really nice wash down. We also went the extra mile and obviously scrubbed as much as we can here and on the inside. Um, it's come up really, really clean. If you'd um, like to see more of our videos and our little hot tips for caravanning life on the road, make sure you like, subscribe, I don't know where it is, <laughs> and hit that bell and then you'll get notifications when we post our new videos. Um, we're off to enjoy our nice clean toilet cassette.